What up, Shiz Beats? I'm um, back with a little uh, tutorial video, something that you know I was just juggling around. I know some guys have 32-bit um, plugins and 64-bit plugins. So what I did was I made two applications: 32-bit one, 64-bit one. You got to keep going into you know show and finder, and then get info. So pretty much what I did was. Okay, I took the MPC program. So pretty much here, I went to copy, right? And I went down to here, create a new folder. Okay? And I pasted it over into the new folder. Let it paste. Okay. So the one in the applications folder, I right clicked it, hit get info. And then I named it uh, whatever bit mode that I want to open it in, if it's 32 bit or 64 bit. So I named it, go to here, show you guys real fast. So, like, say if it's just regular that, see how I changed it back? Then I go back up to here, put it on 32 bit, hit enter or return. All right, and then I came over to here where it's in the, you know, the untitled folder. Right click it, get info, did the same thing. And then I named this 64 bit, but I already have it here. Once you name it 64 bit and hit enter, it'll save it. And you close that window out. And all you gotta do now is just drag this 32 bit or 64 bit back into your applications and it should look like this. So pretty much I had those two and I just dragged them to my dock. Excuse me. I just I just dragged them to my dock. So I got a 32-bit program and I have a 64-bit. I ain't got to keep going to right click. I can just hit either one. Um, some instruments are only 32-bit. Some are 64-bit. Some guys got the Neexus that's not 64-bit and they can't run it. You know, so they have both. You can have both apps in your dock. And I'm gonna show you how it worked because when I first got the MPC. Uh, it was so it was like six, it was only 32 bit, and then gradually they went over to 64 or maybe it was 64. I just was never running in 64, so I got two sessions. This is 32 bit, and this is 64. You can tell when it's the wrong bit program because your plugin won't load up. You have to go back in and redo the uh, the plugin just your, your plugins. So let's open the 32 bit one first. All right. Load that up, and then I'm gonna open up this guy, which is 32 bit. Okay. All right, you see how I loaded up, right? So let's close this real fast. Now, let's open it up in 64 bit and watch what it does. Go back to Finder, let's load this up in 64 bit. Now, every plugin that I use is gonna come up with plugin fail. So, you know, then I got to go back in and, you know, if I put a mix on it with the 32-bit plugins, but I want to run it in 64-bit, it's, you know, it's a pain. So pretty much whatever sessions that you do it in, you can have both apps down here. So let's close this back out because I don't want to save that. And, you know, this is a 64-bit, this is a 32-bit. And what else I did was let's do a new folder, new finder. MPC beats and what I did was I created folders 32-bit projects 64-bit projects so um, you know when I'm opening up the sessions I know what you know what bit it is so we open up the 32 and we're gonna open up the session for 32-bit And I'm gonna play the beat so you can hear. So pretty much it plays. So that's the 32-bit one, and it you know it opens and it plays. 
let's go to the 64-bit one. And we're going to go to the 64-bit session, which is this guy. 64-bit ones load a little faster, and it could take more memory. As you can see here, I got 12 gigs in here. So pretty much, you know, it's going to use whatever it needs. If you open it up, Contact, you know, Contact uses a lot of memory. Uh, I would say Atmosphere, and I would say um, 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 Easy Drummer, if you got Easy Drummer, 64-bit. Some people might have it, some people might not. And then we go to song, it should play the song. So as you can see, it'll play it, you know, so that goes to, you ain't got to keep opening up 32-bit, 64-bit. You can have both apps down here in your dock, and pretty much you'll be good to go. Um, quick little video I would just experiment with. You know, make sure you subscribe, rate, comment, um, check out the other videos that I got on my page, and, you know, I'll be back with another vid. Peace out.